here that I need to empty the frames for because the frames are going to another beekeeper we're doing a swap bee changey he's giving me bees with frames I've given him my frames back so I've got a couple of different kind of frames here so you're gonna see what it's like um, this is also a war hive so it's a little different than um, um, than what you'll see general beekeepers have now the bowl is for any kind of honeycomb with honey on it so I'll put that in there and the bag, <laughs> this very pretty bag from Fairway Market, this is going to hold all of my empty cans that I'm going to, let's just take out the groceries in there, <laughs> that I'm going to turn into some of my candle and cosmetic products. So I'm just going to go get some gloves, even though there were bugs crawling all over this, because, you know, it's this. But I will go get some gloves anyway, so I don't contaminate it at all. <laughs> For those of you worried about wondering why I'm worried about it, well, because the bees had their bugs and I have my bugs, and uh, I don't want them, you know, <laughs> we don't need both in there. All right, so I'm just going to pull these out. Now, this box, <laughs> start on the side that I know. So, here's a whole bunch of comb. So, a um, little bit of honey. So we'll take that little bit of honey off the top here. There's not a lot, but there's a little bit. I'll put that honey with its comb right here in the bowl. Now, there's not a lot of wax that I can use here because Mostly this is brood comb, so, but there's still quite a bit, so I'm just going to cut it along here. Like that. And cut it. Let's see if I can... Oops. I want to get it cleaned off really well, as well as I can for this other beekeeper. We've got pollen in here, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm just going to pop that in there, and then all of this I am going to put in with my bee, with my honey. Even though, yeah, so there's one. I'm just going to get another bag. Clean this off the best I can. And I'll give it to the beekeeper. So I'm pretty excited today. I'm going to go pick up some bees today, guys. Awesome is that? <laughs> I've got a little system here now, and I'm just going to lower it so you guys can see what's going on the floor as well as me working. Maybe I can. Hmm. There we go. Maybe let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to have to do all three of these boxes. And most of this is old brood comb. But I still want that beeswax and the honey. <clears throat> I'll separate any of the cocoon um, remnants out. It's fairly easy to do. Now, if you have a heated knife, this is way easier. But I've never invested in one of those, so 
I'm just using a plain old butter knife to harvest this little bit of honey. Gloves weren't that bit of, bit of an idea. I don't know. So there's another big chunk of honey and some brood comb. I'm just going to get as much of this off of here as I can. Notice that the brood has a lot of um, pollen. I'm going to actually put it in with the honey because pollen tastes really good mixed in with the honey. And I find that for some reason, when you have brood comb honey, it tastes richer than the other stuff, which is probably because well, that's where the queen is hanging out. And so the best honey is there. And unfortunately, the only way to get that kind of honey is if your, if your colony dies out or your um, pulling frames from the brood comb area to replace those. It's not where we generally harvest our honey from. Oh, I may end up giving up these gloves, guys. That's sticky. That is sticky, sticky stuff. So sticky and so wonderful. My hands are getting up. I need you. Ooh, that was lucky. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, let's don't do that again, Jen. Probably won't be as lucky next time. Landed right in the bowl. How nice is that? All this lovely stuff. in my soap and my lotions and my cosmetics. And I've only got 20 more to go. So I've decided to continue on with the bee club. I was going to take a break because there's been some personal changes in our lives. Uh, my husband's um, going to be, my husband is the new bishop of our ward so that's a big calling and of course it's his wife I am also um, going to be working really hard with him but I'm not going to collect as many swarms I think I'll just send other beekeepers on those and and be on the line however I'm hoping to collect at least one swarm so I can take YouTubers with me and you can see what happens when we uh, when we collect a swarm in the capital region. It's kind of cool for people here in Victoria and around the world um, to see you know how a swarm behaves and um, I've actually got some little containers I'm going to be putting these in so I'm leaving the chunks really really big for these types of um, pieces of my comb and I'll show you how I'm going to deal with that. That'll be kind of fun. Kind of a fun project to show you. Oh, the 
boxes below pretty much are empty, so I'm making a big mess. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Okay, so again, not a lot going on right here. It's mostly just empty bird comb. That little bit for down here. Too much stickiness in my collection there. And then, and then, we'll cut through here. And I've got a couple more of these, um, actually full of honey frames. Um, I don't need support these. So I will show you this again if you're interested. Um, it's kind of an awkward process. It's not that graceful, but it's so rewarding. I'm going to break off some chunks and keep those as big as I can and then scrape off the rest. Now, anything that doesn't fit in my little containers will just be scrunched up anyway. Um, if you want honey comb, I will have a few available. Not a lot, but a few. Because I only have like two hives. I am not a big time beekeeper. And so my cost of operation is a lot higher <laughs> than someone who has even, you know, a dozens because they have a bigger return on their investment. <laughs> uh, but yet, but yet <laughs> people expect, oh, the price of honey in the store is this much. So why is it so much more from you? Well, because it's a unique honey. And I'm a small scale honey producer. So very, very small scale. Like make enough honey to sell and feed my family and get bees the next year. <laughs> it all goes sideways or a few new boxes or <laughs> not a lot, not a lot that the honey sales will provide. Big chunks. That one in a huge whole hunk. And the very last one. Now the sides are where the bees generally store most of their honey. And then in the center of the brood is where they lay their eggs, the queen lays her eggs. And that's why this is so dark here. Oh, luckily my, my knife didn't fall so that it was face down. It landed straight up, so I don't have to go get a new one. Yay! It landed straight up. Did you guys hear me? It did not land face down. It did not touch the ground. last one's going to be because I have nothing to hold it in place. I think I'll go down. Wow, this is stuck on. The bees really know their stuff and they build it. They're amazing builders. And I have enough honey for my family and everything that I don't generally take it unless that bees abscond. Like guess what happens here. We've got yellow jackets that don't die off in the, in the winter time. And they kill a lot of my bees. And I'm coming up with solutions, I hope. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that as one big giant piece. But it's often not enough. Um, and so 
So, therein lies my challenge. Sticky all over my floor. Now the rest of these frames are just empty and I'm gonna give these to the other beekeeper. Of course I've covered them in honey, which is not the greatest. So I'm gonna give them a wipe down. And that is how you harvest end of the line honey when you've lost your lost your hive. All right, we'll see you guys next time. I'm going to process this and I'll show you that in another video. Bye for now, guys.